the Watatsumi Goryeo Matsuri in Song of Nomiya recently. Oh, Paimon, that's Kokomi with the host! Let's go pay her a visit! This is the correspondence from Stingray 3. Your Excellency, the situation looks extremely serious. Thank you, Ueno. Inform Swordfish 1 to stand by. I'll see to the wounded shortly. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Kokomi! How have you been? Ah, uh, Captain of Swordfish 2. Glad to have you back on Watatsumi Island. I would have liked to have given you a grand reception, but as you can see... What's going on? Not long ago, I hosted the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. It's the most important ceremony on Watatsumi Island. I'm guessing you'll have heard about it from Tsuyuko? What? How did you know we were the ones helping out Tsuyuko this whole time? Ahem. <clears throat> Tsuyuko is one of the more conscientious Shrine Maidens of Sangonomiya. I knew that handing off the planning of the ceremony to her would play to her strengths. Based on her description of the person who took the commission, it was quite obviously you. This is all starting to sound pretty suspicious. Anyway, I'm sure Tsuyuko will have told you that the Watatsumi Goryo ceremony is a ceremony to reverse the holy soil phenomenon on Watatsumi Island. It's a bleaching process that slowly turns the earth to holy soil, leaving the land infertile and devastating agricultural production. Granted, crops aren't our staple food on Watatsumi Island, but I can't allow external forces to drastically alter the people's diet, and we certainly shouldn't be overly reliant on imports. Uh, Paimon doesn't quite follow. Imagine all you had to eat from now on was radishes. No more fish or meat. Clearer now? <gasps> that would be terrible! The issue began with the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. I did not miss a single step during the ritual, and there's no question that the blood branch coral you retrieved was infused with the Omikami's power. But it didn't reverse the holy soil phenomenon as expected. Instead it just... Paused. This has never happened before in history. This is ultimately a matter of Watatsumi Island's survival, so I sent as many people as I could spare to Enkanomiya to investigate the situation. The news from Stingray 3 was that all of Enkanomiya is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. Additionally, there have also been reports of monsters, the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters? And... An all engulfing darkness? That's all that Stingray 3 has reported. Their investigation otherwise has yielded no useful information. And the unforgiving environment has caused many casualties so far. I have sent several rescue teams already, but so far, the situation does not look promising. It brings me no pleasure to have to ask, but on behalf of all of Watatsumi Island, I beseech you, please. Lend us your assistance one more time. Thank you. Now, please, come with me to meet Tsuyuko.
Your Excellency. Traveler. I did wonder. Hope you're both having a wonderful date so far. <clears throat> Cut the comedy, Tsuyuko, or I may have to have you and Naki switch posts next year. In which case, you'd be in charge of Spectre Eco Management on Watatsumi Island. No need. No need, I'll stop. So, since the two of you are here together, I assume it's about Inkanomiya? Kokumi filled this in on what's been going on. Hmm, um, Kokumi. <laughs> right. Well, as I'm sure Her Excellency has told you, an ominous darkness has completely engulfed Inkanomiya. At the same time, strange humanoid monsters have appeared when the place should be completely deserted. Humanoid... monsters? Armor that can move on its own. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're not talking about one spook soldier hallucinating in the darkness. All the wounded who returned to Sangonomiya have described seeing the same thing. On top of this, even ordinary enemies seem to grow much stronger in the darkness. That's why Stingray 3 has sustained so many casualties. There's one other thing that the returning soldiers have mentioned. They say a shrine maiden who calls herself Sumi has been helping to treat the wounded. Sumi? Hmm. I don't recall there being any record of a shrine maiden by that name in Sangonomiya. That's the thing. There isn't one. But she held something called a Sento Ceremony, which managed to keep a small area in the very center of Antanomiya brightly lit. Thanks to her, the wounded soldiers have a safe zone where they can recuperate. Sento... Hmm... I've seen this term in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. But it's a ceremony that only works in Antanomiya, so it was never brought to Atatsumi Island. I'd love to meet this Tsumi, but right now... Helping the wounded has to be my top priority. Your Excellency, even if you had no duties at all right now, there's still no way we'd let you go down there. Enkanomiya is exceedingly dangerous right now. Only pre-imminent warriors like the Traveler and Paimon should venture there. Yep, absolutely, a hundred percent. This is a job only we can handle. Yeah, <laughs> we've worked together plenty of times in the past, after all. Hmm. Do you have any other information about Tsumi? It was mentioned that she wears a strange mask that covers the upper half of her face. How oh, interesting. What is she trying to hide? Hmm. Your Excellency, in my humblest of opinions, Tsumi has shown nothing but goodwill so far. Since the situation is so critical, we don't have the resources to make other defense arrangements and cast suspicion on our allies. Hmm. I see what you mean. I have instructed Swordfish One to proceed to Enkanomiya and continue evacuating the wounded. Traveler, you can go with them. Swordfish One will escort you to the camp at the center of Enkanomiya. Also, please, take this with you. What's this? Looks like a missing piece of something. It's just a little trinket. When you are faced with a difficult choice, it might be able to help you. Your Excellency. Uh, but isn't that... Watatsumi Island doesn't need it anymore. Besides, both of the other two pieces are in Enkanomiya. If we're lucky enough, this could be our chance to reunite them. Understood, Your Excellency. Okay. Emergency measures to hold the Three Realms Gateway offering now underway. Hmm. I apologize for the trouble. Now please excuse me. I need to tend to the wounded. Please, see Ueno once you're ready. Spectre Eco Management. I hear Liyue has a program to get rid of rats, cockroaches, flies, and barnacles. Spectre eco-management must be the same kind of thing.
Are you ready to venture into the dark shroud of Enconomia? All right, follow me. Just hoping I have the chance. Next year, I'm going to apply for Swordfish 1 to be redeployed into Spectre Management. Because if it's that, or spend more time in Enconomia, I'll take my chance with the Spectres. Those armor monsters closing in on you. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. I totally understand. Anyway, we should be safe for now. There shouldn't be any more danger from here on out. Hey, what's up? It's Yabe, the odd guy from Stingray 3. You seem kind of chipper compared to all the other soldiers. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've pretty much always loved horror stories and ghost stories and stuff, ever since I was a kid. This trip to Enconomia is something else, though. Totally mind-blowing. Super fun. Ten out of ten. Would come again. Uh, totally do not understand. <laughs> well, I mean, it's pretty sweet to have the chance to come to Enconomia. I actually kind of wanted to look into the Bunkoku puzzle while I'm here. It's the first of the four great puzzles of Enconomia. Yeah, please don't do that. We're the ones that'll have to come rescue you. Alright, well, never mind that. There's a makeshift camp at the top of those steps over there. Yeah, you should head up and catch some rest if you haven't been there yet. Have you been to the camp yet? Tsumi's the one that set it up. It's over there at the top of the steps. Gotta get yourself familiar with the base of operations before you go venturing into the darkness. from all the others. Are you human? Well, she is, obviously. Just not a native of Watatsumi Island, that's all. And you? A human hatchling? Oh, really? Because I thought that humans lose the ability to fly when they reach adulthood, just like the Bethysmal bishops lose the ability to see in color when they reach maturity. Sumi, you seem to know a lot about bishops. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, the wounded soldiers mentioned you. Oh. Greetings. My name is Ueno, acting captain of Swordfish One. We're here to evacuate the wounded and support the traveler's investigation. Swordfish One needs to rest and reorganize before commencing the evacuation. I'll see you later. So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? Very well. It's taking all the energy I have to keep this light shining. I don't have the strength to try and combat the spreading darkness, too. Uh, do you understand what's going on? The Void Realm is invading. The people of Byakuyakoku believe that there are three realms. The Bishop Realm, the Human Realm, and the Void Realm. The darkness spreading in Enkonomiya comes from the Void Abyss. 
Neither bishops nor humans can endure it. But don't Bethismal bishops like the dark? No. They hate the light. But only because down here in the depths, the presence of light signifies human activity. In fact, the Bishop realm is the realm of pure primordial elemental beings. It's actually referred to as the light realm in most books. The seven sovereigns of the light realm are the seven foremost elemental dragons at the pinnacle of the raw and primitive elemental forces. So that's why Suyuko called this the Three Realms Gateway Offering. Three Realms Gateway Offering. Not far off the mark, actually. But technically, I think it should be called the Triangle Gateway Offering. Because the source of the darkness from the void is the three towers at the corners of Enkonomiya's triangular borders. Oh, the three towers! The ones where we did those trials! You've been there before? That's a long story. Oh. By the way, Sumi, what's up with the weird mask? To hide my face. It has to do with some things that happened as I was growing up. I just don't want to scare anyone, that's all. Does that make me untrustworthy in your eyes? No, not at all! You've been helping the wounded all this time. Everyone must be super grateful to you. It's just that... Can't say I really understand what you're talking about. Anyway, if you want to rid this darkness from Inconomia, you can come to me for guidance. Of course, if you can trust me. I'm going inside to tend to the wounded and check in with the new arrivals. Please excuse me. Greetings. Hello. We'd like to ask you about the mass shrine maiden, Tsumi. Because of her strange mask? Well, you've come to the right person. Cool. I was one of the first people that she rescued. Straight away, I thought there was something very weird going on. Who is this shrine maiden who knows the lost ceremonies of Enkonomiya? And why is she covering her face with a mask? So I started pestering her about it. I wasn't going to let up until I got an answer. And? There weren't so many people around at the time, so eventually she let me look behind the mask. It was actually pretty normal for the most part. There's just one thing she's trying to hide. Her eyes have snake-like pupils. Thin, vertical lines. Wow, Weren't you scared? I probably would have been if every Watatsumi Islander wasn't so familiar with our legends. Or, or I should say, our history. The first familiars of the Watatsumi Omikami were the vassals of Watatsumi. Legend has it that they are a half-human, half-snake kind who helped our ancestors fight back the Bethismal bishops. They were said to have disappeared long ago. But then Sumi showed up, and as soon as I saw her snake eyes, I instinctively trusted her. It's like the vassals have returned to help us in our moment of need. Huh. I'm no expert by any means, but I think Tsumi can be trusted. Hello, what can I help you with? Hi there! We wanted to ask you what you know about the mass Shrine Maiden, Sumi. I see, I see. What are you looking to know exactly? 
I've tried asking if she's seeing anyone, you know, or whether she's looking right now, but she seems pretty tight-lipped about her love life. That's not what we meant at all. Uh, we were more wondering, do you think there's anything suspicious about her? Suspicious, huh? Suspicion, the unknowable, the unpredictable, unexplored territory, mysterious, enigmatic, enchanting, bewitching, compelling, addicting, yeah, know what I'm saying? I am being serious. Okay, look, if I had to pick one thing about her that's suspicious, I'd say, okay, two things. Number one, her mask. It's pretty scary. I don't know why she chose it. Number two, some kind of pendant fell out of her sleeve when she was bandaging me up. It looked like it was a broken off piece of something. So maybe when you put them together, it makes a hole. Huh. Maybe the other half is held by Sumi's lifelong sweetheart. Mmm, sounds like you hit the nail on the head, so, you know, maybe ease off a little, bro? It looks like they're resting. Um, let's not disturb them. We've got enough answers now. Let's find somewhere to recap what we know so far. Sumi's just inside the room. It'd be a bit awkward if she hears us talking about her behind her back. So, how's it going? Have you made a decision? I... Uh, still thinking things over. Nothing wrong with that. Even if you're just too afraid to venture out, no one can blame you. So here's what we learned from the soldiers. Sumi's mask hides her snake eyes, which the people of Watatsumi Island believe to be a distinguishing feature of Orabaxi's vassals. Based on her actions, it seems like all she wants to do is protect the people of Watatsumi Island. And from what she said, she's doing everything she can to combat the darkness spreading in Enkonomiya. So she seems pretty trustworthy. Paimon gets it. Like, why is she covering her pupils when they're obviously an easy way to win everyone over? Guess we'll just have to see what she has to say for now. But let's keep our guard up, just in case. Come on, man, please. My whole life depends on this. I don't know any other girls, okay? There's no one I can introduce you to. No, no, not that. There's no mirror here, so could you trim my beard for me? Just use your weapon, it'll be fine. I've met newly planted carrots with bushier beards than you. I think you're good. So, how's it going? Have you made a decision? Yep! Let's team up to tackle the darkness! Okay. Then take this. It's called the Bokuso Box. I found it in the Dainichi Mikoshi when I was looking for a solution. Actually... The Dainichi Mikoshi was where I found the method and tools for the Sento ceremony. Lucky I can read human writing. Uh, why wouldn't you be able to? Or did you mean it's lucky that you can read the ancient Enkanamian script? Oh, uh, nothing. I just meant the script in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. I don't actually know if it's ancient or modern.
Never mind all that. Let's get back to business. The Bokuso box collects light. It can dispel the darkness from the void within a small radius. So, for example, with the power of the Bokuso box, you can turn monsters affected by the darkness back into their original forms. As it happens, there are some monsters causing trouble around the camp. Go and try out the Bokuso box on them. I will join you shortly. Please, go and fend off the monsters. Don't forget to use the power of the box. I'm going to observe the movement of the darkness. I'll catch up with you shortly. Fighter. You bet! We were the ones who went and got the Blood Branch Coral that one time after all! <gasps> you... So... you... Uh, what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if what you say is true, then I'm sure you'll be able to conquer the Three Border Towers quite easily. Also... There are a few things I need to explain to you. According to what I have read, the fundamental purpose of the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri is to use the Serpent God's life force to awaken its second familiars, the Senga Koralia. They are creatures that break down raw, primitive elemental energy into the milder elemental energy of the human realm. The giant coral is a symbol that the Senga Koralia have been awakened by the serpent's blood. The mass awakening of the Senga Koralia causes a transformation in the ecological environment of Enkonomiya. Makes sense. Even if you took away the darkness and the monsters, Enkonomiya would still look pretty different now with all the new plants and ore around. Things are even more complicated than usual this time. The darkness from the Void Realm seems to be suppressing things in the Light Realm and the Human Realm causing them to come to a standstill. You may need to use the power of the Bokuso box to dispel the darkness and allow the ecological transformation to continue. Please, try to solve the problem using the Bokuso box. I'll wait for an update for you under the statue over there. More speed. More speed. 
Crush! It seems that you have mastered the Bokuso box. Now, let me tell you about the ultimate purpose of this operation. As I said, we need to proceed to the three towers on Inkonomiya's borders. They're towers of the void, restored to their original form by a certain Abyss Adherent. Abyss Adherent? Wait, do you mean... He's a purveyor of incessant nonsense. Somehow he found out about the three realms and the three corners, and brought those things in using Abyssal technology. Then, he started disseminating Abyssal energy using the towers. This caused great suffering for both the Senga Coralia and the Bethysmal Bishops. I don't know why he's doing this. For us, the Abyss is highly toxic. For them, intoxicating is more the word. Addictive, but still destructive. Maybe he just likes to toy with people and stab them in the back. Paimon knows exactly who you're talking about! You know him? <laughs> then it seems we have a common enemy. Oh, you bet we do! To get rid of the darkness, you need to climb to the very top of the Towers of the Void and activate the Light Realm Chisel, which will let in the energy of the Light Realm. In Enkonomiya, the Ley Lines of the Human Realm the elemental currents of the Light Realm and the dark currents of the Void Realm are all exceptionally strong. Also, I only performed the Sento ceremony going off the steps in the book, but I believe the key to the ceremony is the statue in front of us. You can offer crystals of Light Realm energy to it to increase the Bokuso box's power. Also, resting here can restore the box's energy. Please, take this hand-drawn map. I've marked out the locations of the three towers for you. You'll need to explore one step at a time, and I'd recommend you start with this tower. Well, that's as much help as I can offer you. I'll be waiting here for the good news. Thank you. 